Hi guys, it's Xenia. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, in today's video, I am doing yet another declutter. I told you, I was not joking when I said if I'm bringing in new perfumes, I am taking out old ones because I do not want my perfume collection to exceed 200 perfumes. I haven't counted since the last time or since the last few times I did my declutter videos and then I brought new perfumes in. So I'm hoping I'm still at the 200 mark. And let me know if you guys want to see an updated perfume collection video because it's been a little while since I did my last one. I think it's been almost a year since I did my last one now. And I've gotten rid of a lot of those perfumes since that video and also brought in new perfumes. A lot of scents that I really, really love. And I feel like my perfume collection is now catered with scents that I really 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 love because I've just gotten rid of those perfumes that I was kind of like a little unsure about and I feel like my collection now is full of the perfumes that I straight up just love so let me know if you're interested in seeing a updated perfume collection in the comments down below like this video if you want to see that video let me show you guys the perfumes that I am letting go of now so this was really hard to do this is getting really really hard to do at this point because the first declutter was honestly not super hard because I had a lot of perfumes that I was testing out that I was unsure of and then the second declutter was kind of the same it was like a little bit harder and now after four or five declutters it's getting hard to do this because now I'm getting to the point where these perfumes are like my loves so it's hard to let go of any but I'm pretty confident with letting go of these perfumes you guys know the drill all of these fragrances are going to be listed on my mercari as soon as this video is live so you can check those out i will put the link in my description box it'll be the first link on there with all that being said before we get into this video please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel and turn post notifications on and let's get started so the first fragrance that i'm letting go of is a perfume i really really love and i still love but i recently got gifted the brand new bottle of it they've updated the bottle and i'm not sure if they messed with the formulation but i did smell it and i really really love it i really love this one i feel like the formulation is not too too different so i am holding on to that and especially because that's newer i'd rather keep that and let go of this so that somebody else can get use out of this so that perfume is gucci guilty i'm not gonna hold this up for too long for you guys because it's a mirrored bottle so i don't want to blind you but gucci guilty is one of my favorite scents i have said it and i'll always will it is such a sexy fragrance like this is one of the sexiest perfumes of all time and i'm absolutely obsessed with it my husband loves this i actually recently wore the new one out for dinner and he was non-stop complimenting me all night it is like a man-eater, man-magnet type of scent. Super, super sexy, but not in like an overly sweet kind of way. There's a little bit of sweetness to Gucci Guilty, but it's more of... I don't even want to say fresh because it's not really fresh. It's kind of powdery. That's kind of like the most distinct thing about it. And normally, I am somebody that doesn't really like powdery scents. But something about this, I don't know if it's just the mixture of the notes, I'm not sure. This perfume has pink pepper, mandarin orange, bergamot, so pretty like citrusy and kind of spicy opening. And then the middle notes are lilac, peach, geranium, jasmine, black currant, base notes of patchouli, amber, white musk, and vanilla. This is one of the sexiest fragrances ever. And the only reason why I'm getting rid of this is because I have that new bottle now and I'm just gonna hold on to that and not have both for absolutely no reason. This is a pretty full bottle because this is more of like a date night special occasion sort of scent. I mean, I'm sure you can wear this as like your signature scent, but that's just how I see it. But because of that, I didn't really wear this too, too much because I would find new perfumes and then I would wear those to those special occasion nights. So I kind of forgot about this for a moment, but now that I've gotten reintroduced to it with that new bottle, which you guys are gonna see in a future haul, I am definitely going to make it a point to use that more because I think it's like a phenomenal scent. One of you guys will be very, very lucky to have this in your collection. That's all I'm gonna say. The next scent I am parting ways with is Salvatore Ferragamo Signorina Misteriosa. I literally went on a scavenger hunt to find this when I was first trying to find it and I ended up ordering it online because I couldn't find it anywhere and you guys know that's a big deal for me because it's rare for me to order fragrances online especially if it's not Amazon. Amazon does speedy shipping so I always try to go the Amazon route if I'm gonna buy something but I bought this I think on Fragrance Net or Fragrance X one of those websites but ultimately this by the way is a full bottle. I don't think I've used this 
like once maybe i've used it once but like that's it this is completely full to the brim it is a 3.4 bottle so it's a big big bottle of this and it's basically brand new i feel like what turned me off to this kind of is because it kind of reminds me of the pink sugar berry blast one this has a ton a ton of berries in it and while i am the biggest berry lover ever this is almost too sweet even for me it's kind of like cotton candy but berry cotton candy like those berries are not necessarily done in like a fruity juicy fresh kind of way like not in a realistic way they're done more so in like a really really sugary almost cotton candy way which i know sounds so good and i mean this is a nice fragrance don't get me wrong it's just it's too sweet all the reviews of this were absolutely amazing which is what drew me to buy it and then i saw the notes and fell even more in love so i thought i was gonna love this and it's not that i necessarily hate it but the fact that i just haven't worn it and then every time i do wear it i'm like oh this is a little too sweet for me that leads me to believe i'm probably not going to be wearing this so you guys can give that the love that it deserves because it's a pretty fragrance if you're into berries and you're into really really sweet scents cotton candy sugary like super 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 sugary scents i think you will love it i do think that there's a sexiness to this i honestly don't think it's as dark as it's kind of made out to be with like this dark bottle and it's called Signorina Misteriosa. I don't think it's that like dark and mysterious. It's just really sweet and berries and that's really all I can really say about then, it. Then after a lot of thought, this perfume and another one I'm going to show you later have been on the verge of my other declutter videos that I've done. I would include them with those perfumes and then last minute I'd be like mm, no but then I would hold on to them and still never use them. Like I wouldn't even think about them. So now finally i'm like okay you're gonna let go of those because even though you're on the fence and you think you like them you never actually use them so they're never gonna get used and one of those scents is jimmy choo fever do not get me wrong i hesitated on this for a reason because i really really love this scent but i have so many perfumes in my collection with a similar scent profile to this that i just prefer so much more and that i wear like actually wear so for that reason i'm getting rid of this i still hesitate because smelling this i'm like wow that smells good it's so so sexy and it's called jimmy choo fever it's like a really really hot amazing sweet scent it's kind of similar to black opium but also not really because it's kind of better there's really amazing notes to this starting with plum there's some jasmine and then the base notes you get tonka bean you get vanilla you get a little bit of coffee which is why it kind of smells a little similar to black opium there's also hazelnut in it so it's a really really sexy fragrance very very sweet perfect like date night type of scent it's just i have so many perfumes with a similar scent profile to this so i need to just get rid of it at this point but but it pains me whoever gets this you better you better love this because it's taken a lot for me to get rid of that next perfumes honestly these two have also been really really hard for me to let go of because their scents especially this one right here i use this like i have used this and there's not a significant dent in it it's just a little bit dent because even when you get the bottle brand new it's there's already like a little bit of dent in it because no bottle is like filled all the way up but i have made a tiny bit of a dent in, into it this is a 3.3 full-size bottle so it's a big hefty bottle this scent smells amazing it is one of the best peach fragrances like when i say peach i mean like authentic peach a lot of the times peach comes off like almost like cat pee gross smelling sometimes peach can be done in like this synthetic way that just ends up not smelling good on the skin at, at all this is like an authentic sweet juicy peach like authentic meaning you freaking have a, a bowl of peaches right in front of you it's like peach rings it has a little bit of sweetness to it almost like candy i didn't even say the name of this this is hugo boss the scent the only reason why i'm finally going to part ways with this as much as i don't want to and as much as i love this scent is because this doesn't really last on me at all like at all and maybe it'll be better on somebody else this is so 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 pretty it smells so freaking amazing but yeah i'm smelling that peach right now it's like peach rings like the little gummy uh peach rings it's what it smells like maybe it'll be better lasting power for you and if you're somebody that doesn't really mind about like lasting power and all of that and 
you could reapply that fragrance or something that would be great because the scent is 10 out of 10. Next I am getting rid of Banana Republic Dark Cherry and Amber. This scent smells really really good. It smells very high-end and that's because this is like kind of a dupe to Baccarat Rouge. This smells like about I don't know 60% similar to Baccarat Rouge but there's also a difference to it. This has cherry in it so think of like kind of the scent of Baccarat Rouge with the added cherry note, but that cherry is kind of short-lived in it. It's a very sexy scent, but there's like a slight medicinal vibe to this, and Baccarat Rouge also has that slight medicinal vibe, but I feel like I smell it more in here. So I'm just gonna get rid of this, because to be honest, I just haven't really used this that much, and this is a great scent, especially for it being Banana Republic. This is not gonna be as high-end as like a designer scent would be, so the fact that it's offering that high-end scent at a more affordable price is a really, really good deal. So I think one of you will really, really love this. I know that for a while there, this was super, super popular in the fragrance community. Like, I feel like everyone was recommending that scent left and right, including me, because I really did like it at one point. I just didn't really use it too much and then after I got Baccarat Rouge I'm like yeah I'm not ever wearing another Baccarat Rouge dupe ever again because like that's just the best for me and this scent again really pains me I actually included this in I think my first fragrance declutter video or my second one and I told you I would get rid of it and then I didn't get rid of it because I smelled it more and I'm like do I want to get rid of this but Ultimately, I still haven't used it since then and I think another reason why I held on to it was because I Made my husband smell it and he was like, oh, this smells really really good and I'm like Ugh. Like I, I just want you to tell me it smells bad I just never really used it and I still think that that popcorn note in here bothers me But then it dries down and then the popcorn note kind of goes away But then I can kind of still smell it and just the fact that I'm even going kind of back and forth on it makes me think that I should let go of this. This is Pure Excess by Paco Rabanne. The bottle of this is 10 out of 10. Like the snake wrapping around the bottle, just the whole feel of the bottle is so sexy. And this is a sexy fragrance. It kind of has a similar scent profile again to Black Opium, but it has a popcorn note in it, which is very, very unique. And it just adds this buttery nuttiness to it that I'm not a huge, huge fan of. And I can really, really smell it. Especially when I first spray this out, that popcorniness does die down in the dry down. And I do get a lot more like sexy sweetness. But even after it's dry down, I still can kind of smell it. So yeah, I don't know. I'm back and forth on it. And I don't want to be that way with my fragrances. I want to go into my collection and love every single scent that I pick up so as hard as it is to get rid of that scent I think I'm finally going to watch me like take it out last minute and it not be on my Mercari you'll see for sure if you go on my Mercari and it's there you'll know I you know I was like yeah we're getting rid of it okay, the last three fragrances I'm getting rid of are all from Juliana's perfume so I have a very extensive collection of Juliana's perfumes fragrances because I've worked with them in the past and I've tested out many of their scents and I'm getting rid of these three specifically because I either have the dupes or I just don't really love the scent. So the first being Aurora. This is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. And as far as it's being similar, it is super, super, super similar to Baccarat Rouge. Now I've said it and I always will. I don't think any dupe to Baccarat Rouge smells as good as the original. They come very close, but the original just, just blows me away every time I smell it. But this is a very, very close dupe to it. So I'm getting rid of it purely for the fact that I have <laughs> Baccarat Rouge in my collection. And I'm trying to just get rid of duplicates. Next, I'm getting rid of Kissed by an Angel. This is supposed to be a dupe for Angel Share by Killian. And Angel Share has never been my scent. And I tried to love this. And to be honest, I kind of prefer this to Angel Share because I did remember smelling the tester of Angel Share a long time ago because I was actually gonna buy it. I thought of actually buying it for a while because it was so hyped up, but then I'm like, no, this is way too strong. And I feel like I like this so much more, but still it's just a scent I don't really wear often. So I'm gonna get rid of that. And then the last one I'm getting rid of is Head Over Heels. And this is actually a dupe to Rolling In Love by Killian. Now, the reason why I'm getting rid of this is because Rolling In Love is a dupe or not really a dupe because they're kind of a similar price point. The Rolling in Love is very, very similar to Scarlet Poppy by Jo Malone, which you guys 
know my obsession with it and I love that fragrance. It smells so freaking good. I did a whole like dedicated video to that just saying how I found my freaking dream perfume. I love that scent so, so much. And this smells very, very similar to it. So again, for the sake of downsizing with duplicates, I am also letting go of that one. All right, so that is yet another declutter done. It feels so good to do these purges, especially when I'm bringing in new scents and I kind of feel guilty about it. It feels good to know that I'm still letting go of fragrances. I'm still not letting my fragrances get too out of hand. So I just love doing this kind of... I guess cycling, like bringing in, letting go. I also love the fact that these fragrances are gonna be used by you guys, you know, nothing is going to waste. Let me know if you're interested in any of these fragrances. Check out my Mercari if you are, that'll be the first link in the description box. That is it for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.